We need more electricians. We need more people in the field. The energy industries are gonna need a lot of money to train this entirely new breed of technicians. Power companies and utility companies need to be a part of this. They're just as much a part of it as the dealers are. We provide the cars, they provide the fuel. If they had full service charging stations, that would give some people jobs, you know what I mean? It's important, you know? So I think it's fascinating. I think it's gonna be a great future. That feels like a bullet train and works like a freight train. Wow, this is exciting. This is not gonna be a, a soft ride. This is gonna be pedal to the metal. An electric truck that can help build your house and if need be, power that house. It's a really good time in transportation, but if we want mass EV adoption, everybody has to be able to see themselves driving an EV. Or even see how they could be a part of this industry. In order for our customers to feel comfortable about buying an EV today, they also need to know wherever they're going, there are chargers available. I mean, you have to go where the demand is. And if we can get the pricing to where it needs to be, and I think as we build more production of vehicles, we can help drive some of that pricing down, get the pricing of batteries down. Customers are gonna have a lot of questions and we're gonna have to be prepared to answer those questions. And you're okay waiting? Yep. Selling is nothing but a transfer of emotion. And if if we're not if we're not excited and, and enthusiastic about the change, that's never gonna get transferred to the customer. So we have to buy into it first before the customer can even think about doing that. It isn't gonna cost a lot of money to commute. So at the end of the day, it'll be good for the customer. In the world of dealers, service is where they make most of their money. It's not on car sales, those are paper thin margins. Where the dealers generate the cash flow is in doing service work on vehicles. That's a whole nother level of disruption that is occurring at this point. industry was not going to survive if we didn't deal with why the stations were experiencing the issues that they were. Everyone's just focused on installing and I'm seeing, you know, half of the stations in Texas not working or I'm seeing that stations are offline for like months and months at a time and we can't source the right parts to put them back together. And I'm like, this is going to destroy this industry. And so I was like, I could build that company. have manufacturers, network providers putting down charging stations. So having operations and maintenance in place and ready to go is vital. And by day four or five of the training, you see their eyes lighting up, starting to really get it. When they can be the driver of the EV, when they understand the money and the opportunity for wealth that may exist there.